Welcome back to our Let's Play. Here we are in episode two, and we're going to go on an adventure today, just to see what we can find in terms of a place to settle down and also just establish ourselves and move all this stuff because the villagers really, really seem to want their house back. So in terms of fishing, we were able to get quite a few books uh, just from normal fishing rods, which is pretty amazing, especially this mending book, but also some Nautilus shells and a good amount of food as well. And very importantly, leather. Um, in terms of the resources, we, we have a bit more wood as well as coal now and a couple of name tags. I would like to name this chicken who's really been with us since day one on our adventure and take them out to sea with us. Yeah, aside from that, we just really have our first tools and a couple of miscellaneous items we got from either mining or looting. Um, but I did grow a bunch of sh paper and sugar cane, and so I'll go collect that, make our maps, and then we can be on our way for the adventure. Isn't that right, Chicken? Right, so during our fishing, uh, randomly, you know, in the ocean, this chicken floated to the surface and just appeared. So we have another friend that's going to accompany us on our journey. And so I think I will also name this chicken and bring them to wherever we decide to settle after the adventure at a later time. But for now, this, this chicken's gonna be in this boat. All right, so over here we were fishing and in the meantime, we were able to grow a lot of sugar cane in between episodes. As you can see, I lit up the place cause I was getting quite tired of mobs attacking me when I was fishing at night. And so that's why those are there. I'll go ahead and gather the sugar cane, make the maps, and then we can start the adventure. All right, so we've made our first map. Let's go ahead and um, actually, now that I think about it, I should make the cartography table and then kind of depart from the ocean over there. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our cartography table as well as a new boat. Okay. I still haven't thought of a name for this chicken. Well, thank you for the egg or the other one. I'll have to think of that in between episodes, but let me know what you think the names could be in the comments. And yeah, I'll take a look. Um, let's go to the ocean. All right, not the best time to start an adventure, but when is the best time, right? All right, so here is the first map of this world. And I'll go ahead and expand it to the, the, the max scaling. And oh, perfect, we're right in that corner. Okay. So I'm just gonna go and start exploring this ocean. And I didn't bring the chicken with me because I think that would be a rather arduous task, bringing it from the village to all the way to the water without a lead. So I opted not to do that. All right, let's go for it. So quick update, I have not found any land, but we have just only been going to the west. So maybe that'll, oh, changed instantly all right so it looks like this is the first island that we've we've come across looks like it's a pretty decent size too It's a decent size, all right, but you know, not much, not many interesting things in the surrounding area, unfortunately. But it looks like there's uh, more lands, more islands over here, as well as a. Uh, I think that's just a small ocean ruin. 
Oh, this one's more of a desert island. Interesting. Yeah, we're in the middle of a deep ocean biome, by the way. So that might explain why we're not seeing much in terms of <laughs> things to do in the surrounding waters, right? Yeah, it looks like it's these are just sand and a little bit of dirt on that end. Let's keep looking. Nice little shallow here. So this is actually an ocean biome, not deep ocean. So whoa, 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 whoa. So we'll see whether or not there's more things over here. I do like these shallow areas because you can bu you can build stilts and then just build kind of a, a platform house and oh whoa okay that's those are icebergs and a big mountain wow that's a really tall island mountain or maybe this is land. Oh yeah, this is totally land. Okay, well, <laughs> not what we were looking for, but good to know, good to know. I guess I'll just uh, head west again and see what I find. So I circled back up a bit after not finding much westward of that mountain. and Looks like we've come across a pretty sizable piece of land here with quite a bit of foliage on the eastern part of it. It's right by that small sand archipelago that we saw basically on our way down to the mountain. Yeah, a good size island with a lot of stuff, but the most interesting thing looks to be like this ruined nether portal down there at the ocean bottom. And then, oh, that does look like a sunken ship stuck in the middle. Well, looks like they were really close to getting onto the land, but then didn't. In any case, this is encouraging. We're, we're finding more stuff around the ocean, so that's good. But I think, I think it's worth looking a little bit more because we've barely scratched the surface of this, this really expansive ocean. So I'll keep, I'll keep looking. Found some random kelp. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's why it... Okay, okay. Well, looks like there's a ravine there. And this small little... Um... Ocean ruin, yes. <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. But not too much in the way of uh, large islands. You can see little... Little tall, I guess, speckles of islands over there, but, but not too much. And they're kind of beyond the boundaries of the map, which we'll explore eventually, but for now I just want to kind of stay within this quadrant. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is! That is an ocean monument. It's pretty close to that sand island, which is cool. And there's a small little island over here with some trees. Okay, okay. Promising. Okay, so it's pretty close to the corner of this map. I should be able to remember that location. I've been harpooned way too many times to want to explore ocean ruins at this early point in the game. So we will not be doing that, although I would really like to get a nice fishing rod from one of these chests, that's for sure. Well, I don't see any drowned. Well, let's risk it. Oh, there's one, but no harpoon. Okay. Please open. Please. Okay, well, rather than... Oof. 
Rather than a fishing rod, we got our first treasure map. Look at that. We can grab this later. Oh, but there's another, uh, there's another ocean monument. Or sea temple. And this one is much closer to an island, and it's got a ship over there, which is really nice looking. Ha! <laughs> Had I continued to go west, we would have we would have run right into this. So, well, that's what I that's what I get for being impatient, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, there's another ship. Huh. Well, certainly, this is a quite a deep um, a deep part of the ocean. There's a lot of kelp, so it's not really amenable to building. But certainly this is a lot more attractive than the previous sea monument we saw due to its close proximity to this island. So maybe, maybe. More kelp. Ooh, lots more actually. Oh, are we about to hit land? Or is this just a rather sizable island? Well, I'll just go to the corner of the map and then start to head over east. Still unsure if this is an island or if it's a continent. <laughs> it's looking more and more like a continent, but it's not clear because there's all this ocean on this side, right? Hmm. And I can't really head there on foot because, well, it's night. Hmm. Oh no, based on those mountains, this does not look like an island. <laughs> All right, um. Hmm. How about I go up this river? Let's see what's up here. Well, it opened up to another ocean, so. Maybe that's just a peninsula? Let's just go to the other side and see what's over there, shall we? Well, we've reached the other side and it looks like that's where the continent begins. Basically where we started, probably. So, hmm. I guess I can just go along the coastline and then maybe just explore the rest of that map. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, look what we found. A small swamp biome. I'm going to go see if I can get a little bit of slime so we can make some leads. Because we'll be definitely needing leads if we want to get animals to wherever we settle. Well, friends, I am not having much luck finding any slimes. Um... A lot of animals, though. I thought for sure we would have at least found one slime. Oh, but I need to be careful. <laughs> there are quite a few mobs here. And I did not bring the boat, which was probably short-sighted of me. Oh, that's so many creepers. Unlucky. Oh, but there's a, there's a witch. Hut. You know, I kind of went string. That's not string. That is. Go away. Oh, cool. That was two. So just enough to make a fishing rod. All right. I guess I'll swim back to the start of the swamp and get my boat back. The lava is just right below the surface. You can hear it, right? Very interesting. This is like the smallest iceberg biome I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just one iceberg. That's it. One iceberg and a small sheet of ice. But still, two polar bears managed to call this place their home. <laughs> Q. 
cute. So I want to see if I can go to the Switch's hut and grab the cat since it's really just out there in the water. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Famous last words, but I'll give it a try. And I really don't know how effective a shield will be against the witch, but let's try. <laughs> okay. Oh! No one saw that. No one saw that. Oh, I feel so bad. Let me eat, please. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay, hold on, kitty. Here, here, here. Come here. Come here. Go to the boat. Go to the boat. That's that's not the boat. You gotta go that way. That way. That way. Alright. I'll do it your way. Please, please. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. I I promise I won't hurt you again. Intentionally. The first one wasn't intentional. Ah, oh, it's okay. If only I had raw fish. I only have cooked. I am 95% sure they don't eat cooked. Yeah, no. Alright, well we have a cat now. Hopefully she gets along with the chickens. Right, I should use my map. <laughs> okay, so now we're going around the swamp. And there's <laughs> there's another iceberg, <laughs> which is very odd. Normally you don't find icebergs in close proximity to swamps, at least that I can remember. We've got a birch forest over here back on the continent. And I think this is where those mountains start. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright, so we've come full circle really on this map. So I'll go ahead and explore the in-betweens and hopefully this cat and I have a bonding experience <laughs> after that traumatic... I'm sorry, cat. I'm sorry. That's cool that chip is just perched on this underground mountain <laughs> or underwater mountain Ugh, not underground it's a nice sunflower plains maybe we'll grab one just for you know to have a sunflower since you can always bone meal more Okay, so it's kind of like a plains. Uh, yeah, I guess that is kind of a, a peninsula, huh? Hey, turtle. Okay, so we got some shallows here with some small islands. But no kind of close sea temple, which is unfortunate. I'll check over here since it's the last kind of area of this map to explore. Oh, oh, look what just rendered into view. Oh wow, there's a, a cow that's marooned on this sandbar. <laughs> okay, but not too bad, not too bad. And then it also looks like this is pretty clear. Yeah, there's not a lot of seaweed and it's relatively flat, which would be good for building underwater, actually. Yeah, not bad at all. Very promising.
very, very promising. The only thing it doesn't have is like a mushroom island in close proximity, or say for example, um, kind of tropical fish. That's something I wanted to include, or just like have around. But we can always just find a warm ocean and bring them over here, couldn't we? Hmm. There's also this nice island over here. This is actually a good size as well. This is looking like a pretty good option, I must say. It's looking pretty good. Let's go check out that other area over there. Oh, you just have a regular fishing rod. Got my hopes up. You didn't even drop it! <laughs> Well, that was not worth it. Okay, as you can see, essentially we've, we've explored everything. Really the best kind of options seem to be just west of here, where there are multiple islands and the sea temple there in cl close proximity to this continental feature on the southern portion. So, hmm kind of at a crossroads of whether or not I want to commit to building on one of those islands or go a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more time to think. Yeah, let me get back to y'all. What do you think, Kitty? You want to go more? You want to go south? You keep looking that way. Yeah? Okay, we'll go. Er, oops. That's this way, right? This way? Okay, yeah, this way. Can't say no to the cat. So we'll go ahead and go down to the, the southern part and then just make a new map. Yeah, this does look promising because it's more shallow, right? But there is this, <laughs> which it's still not clear whether or not this is a continent or not. But we'll check on the other side. We'll go around it. Ah, but first let's get on shore and actually make a new map. All right, and so we are off there. Let's go ahead and bring this all the way to 4x4. Four four. Okay. Swap. Yeah, we'll just keep that down there. Grab this. And uh, yeah, we'll go around. Oh, another ship. But this does not look like an ocean, that's for sure. Although right here, it does transition to a warm ocean or a lukewarm ocean, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> hmm. I don't know if that's good or bad luck that it just started there, but let's see what we can do. Let's see if there's any kind of opening. Well, that was unlucky. So what we can do is we can go all the way around <laughs> and we're going to have to since this, this cat is stuck to the boat, really. Okay, meet you back there. Well, with YouTube magic, it'll be a snap of the fingers, right? But uh, see you in a bit. So quick update, we're still in deep ocean, but it looks like we're finally hitting some, oh. I thought that was a desert. <laughs> okay. All right. It looks like we've hit a jungle, a bamboo forest to be specific. This is pretty cool. But it's funny because we're still in ocean and not warm ocean. But this is nice. This is, this is cool. Hmm. We'll definitely have to come back here, and it's really good to know that this exists all the way here in the south, but yeah, I think we should keep going this way and see what else is out there. 
I am really happy we found this because now there's a source of jungle logs and bamboo. Yeah, this does look to be a pretty big jungle, all that to say. Okay. Very good. Looks like going around the island was worth it after all. But we still don't have a really super promising place other than the one we identified earlier. Um, yeah, we've really been out this. We've, we've been at this for about an hour now, so. <laughs> Quite a bit of time, but. You gotta get this right. It's really good to have. Know, a lot of enthusiasm where you're gonna build because I think that really helps motivate you to really make the world into something that's oh I swear this was not planned this this is warm ocean yep lukewarm lukewarm ocean very nice and it looks like there's coral yeah yes okay Found a little bit of coral. Very nice, okay. I don't really have room to pick up any sea pickles right now, do I? But I do have a bucket, so let me get, grab a fish. Ooh, ooh, what kind, what kind, what kind? Oh, I love how clear the water is here. <laughs> Not much variety. I'm not really a big fan of pufferfish either. Hmm. This is a really nice coral thing though. Some are like way too big and then it's just overwhelming and then kind of just is unappealing to the eye in my opinion. But this is like, you know, it's, it's a good chunk. Like it's just a nice little strip and that's it, you know, not like overwhelming, just enough to spice up the atmosphere, if you will. And it's right next to the jungle, which is really cool. But I'm just not having much luck finding fish right now, which is surprising, I must say. Hmm. Yeah, not even squid. That's really strange. There must be a lot of caves. Maybe that's, maybe that's why. I think those are cod. Nope, those are more... That's another puffer fish. Oh, some spiky. Kind of like the spiky one. Okay, we'll get that one. Alright, and tactical fishing achievement get. Yeah, I'm really liking this area. Not only do we have the tropical fish and like the lukewarm ocean here, we have the jungle and bamboo forest to the south, and then we have that taiga island continent, not sure, to the north. So this, uh, this, you know, if we could find an ocean monument, I would be very happy with this. All right, so I'll see if I can explore a little bit more. I'll report back if I find anything good. But it does look like we're moving away from the lukewarm. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. Are there islands in lukewarm oceans? I'm pretty sure there's not ocean monuments, so you'd have to get really lucky with like a transition from like a deep or regular ocean or some sort of cold biome to one of these. Oh, there's land. But Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure about islands. I want to say no. Well, this looks pretty expansive, so we'll check it out. I guess this kind of counts, actually, now that I think about it, this mountain right here. Certainly it's not, you know, standalone, but oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. That is a proper shipwreck. Wow, that is just so nice. I'm going to take a picture. 
Well, maybe that'll be the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> oh, I really like that. That's so cool. Okay, is this the plane? Uh, no, it's a separate plains biome, but I think there is one on the north part of this, this island as well. Where's that map? Oh, maybe not. Okay, well that that's also another nice thing to have, right? Ooh, look at all the fish. Okay, well I'll just keep exploring the shoreline to see how big this the southern ocean is and report back. Really hoping for a mending fishing rod. Normally I can get pretty lucky if I just look at a couple ocean monuments or er, a couple um ocean ruins. I don't know why that phrase is just eluding me today. But usually I have good luck with those. Um this world not so much. Oh look, there's like a little keyhole right there. How cool is that? I wonder if that's a ravine. Or just oh it's just a small little cave actually. Oh, never mind, that goes pretty pretty far down. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is just way too much coral. I I don't know, I my eyes get tired of this really quickly. But what do you all think? Is this like I've never actually seen anyone settle in one of these, to be honest. What do you guys think? Is this like an appropriate place to build a base? Because I've, I've truly never seen someone build a base in one of these on YouTube. On say for example servers, yeah I've seen like someone I guess, claim these the ships and live on those underwater which is kind of cool but I've yeah even on really populated servers I've never seen someone build a bona fide base like a big one in one of those biomes but hey the world's a big place maybe I'm just I've been unlucky and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's also this dark oak forest over here, which is really the only wood that's missing from here is a savanna. Or I'm sorry, the the biome that we would need to get the last piece of wood is the savanna, so we can get that acacia wood. But yeah, this is really this southern sea is just really good, I must say. The only drawback is it doesn't have a monument, and I really plan on building a guardian farm as, as quickly as I can in this series, because I just find the the sea lanterns to just be such a just such an essential like light source in general. And eventually, of course, once we update, I would like to make <laughs> a frog magma cube farm, but. Uh, I know that's not a trivial kind of task, nor have I ever built one of those, so there would definitely be a learning curve in that. That would probably take a while to kind of like get it all assembled, get the frog, find, you know, the spawner in a strong, or er, um, in a bastion, sorry, and then get the frog there and get that going. That, that sounds like a lot of work, but maybe it's, you know, no more, no more complicated than say a blaze spawner, but Again, I really have tried to stay away from new content so I can experience it while recording and just, you know, learn as I go. I think that's a bit more fun and more enjoyable, right, long term. It's a it's an organic way of, like, enjoying the content rather than getting one's hopes up for, say, like, the, the, the teaser events, which I might do, but, yeah, once the content drops, I think... <laughs> I'll probably stay away from it. Similar to what I've done for like the deep dark and kind of the, the new stuff ever since the Caves and Cliff part two. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll keep looking. It looks like this, uh, yeah, this ocean is still going. So there's another swamp. Oh, but it does look like that was a transition to deep ocean. Ooh, okay. 
So let me look around the border of this and see if we can find an ocean monument. All right, I'll report back if I find <laughs> any such thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are in deep lukewarm ocean. Okay, so maybe these only spawn in deep oceans. I've really never gone on the wiki and looked, but this looks like it's it. Oh my gosh. And it's, well, okay, it's not in close proximity to say these other cool things like the, the taiga up there, but pretty good. Ah, there's no islands either, but there is a lot of building space down here and it's pretty flat. So that, that could work. This could definitely work. Oh, is that an island? No way. Okay, good. It's a small island. Oh, but it transitions to a Ooh, okay. Did we just get really lucky? Or did it actually... No, it spawned in the deep lukewarm ocean biome. But yeah. Oh, okay. This was very good finding. Um... Let me think about what I want to do. Still undecided. I think I'll explore around this area since I've, I've only kind of gone around the periphery. And then, yeah, I'll see if there's a better place to kind of establish the initial base. Because ultimately, I'm thinking underwater would be cool. But like right now, we haven't even found a desert. I don't have diamond gear. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be too much of a like an ask I would say but there's, it's also possible that there is a desert nearby or you can kind of get sand from these these islands but I, I don't really want to destroy those because <laughs> once they're gone it's yeah you don't want to rebuild them that's for sure <laughs> Maybe I'll just sleep on it too. I think I will just set up a base here, even though this, this nether portal does look pretty cursed. <laughs> but yeah, it does look like we're not too far away from more continent to the south over there. And so I could potentially gather a lot of resources from that. And I like that the island is small because it's not too big, right? And of course, I think I'm also going to get rid of this because I just really don't. Yeah, I'm not into that. But, <laughs> but there's a ton of building space on the ocean floor here, which is probably not captured by, you know, this, <laughs> this quick swim. But then there's also this huge ravine, which is really cool looking. So maybe that might be a cool thing we could build with. You know, in addition to like the ocean floor. And I do like the fact that it's, you know, it's a deep lukewarm ocean. So we're going to get, you know, tropical friends like this. But still have a ton of building space and height underneath the water. And certainly it'll be a challenge because there are like no resources on this island. And you were just trying to pillage what, what earth I have beneath my feet. Oh, thank you for putting that back. But... Yeah, I think I'll just place some torches and yeah, I guess maybe this is home. But I will sleep on it since I have run out of time for recording today. But I think this is a good place to end the episode. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this island, that's for sure. And wow, this, this Enderman really <laughs> is giving me a are you sure look? Are, are you sure? Are you positive? I don't know, but we are close to that ocean monument, so that's really nice. What do you think, Andy? Over there? Yeah, I think. I think he likes it too. <laughs> He's like, I'm leaving. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot to sleep.
You know what? Let's just do that. Thank goodness I have this cat. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to deal with that next time. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will catch you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one.